Hello, this is Vic and welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's video. In the last couple of videos in our series, I showed you how to install Caden Live and we also walked through its user interface. If you want to check those videos out, click on the link above. Now in this video, we're going to be jumping right into video editing. I'll show you the basics of putting together a simple edited video just like this one that you're seeing right now so at the end of this tutorial you'll learn how to cut clips how to add simple transitions and effects how to adjust sound and volume how to add text and titles and how to export for web content like youtube vimeo etc as usual i've divided this video into chapters so that you can easily navigate through the different sections we're going to be using, once again, Caden Live version 22.12.2. And you can also see here the specs of my computer so that you can kind of get an idea of how it performs. Now, if you wanted to follow along, I suggest going to pexels.com. This is a website where you can get royalty-free photos and actually also videos. So I've linked in the description below all of the links for the videos that we're going to be using in this tutorial. I would suggest that you try to download the 1080p or the full HD versions since those videos are going to be available in different resolutions. Let's get started. Let's open up Caden Live over here. And we've got a blank untitled project. Now, if your layout looks a little bit different, just click onto the editing workspace and that should bring you back to the same layout as I have here. The first thing that we want to do is set up our project. So we go to project, project settings, and I'm going to change this to 1080p, 24 frames per second. Now, if you're working with 4K video, you've got some 4K options here. But for now, we're just going to be keeping it simple, 1080p, 24 frames per second. Now, you notice over here that we've also got some tabs for our proxies. We'll talk about proxies later on to help the performance. Uh, you've got some guides here, guides and markers, some metadata stuff, project files, which helps you you manage some of the project files that you're using and also the cache data so once we start using proxy clips you'll notice that some of these things are going to start to fill up and this is the place that we can actually clear some of these files to make some more space but for now the settings is fine again 1080p 24 frames per second we'll click ok i've left everything at a default for now it's going to give me a bit of a warning we're going to press continue so now you can see this has changed to hd 1080p 24 fps now obviously the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save as i'm just going to save this to my downloads folder and i'm just going to call this a sample video there we go it's now called sample so that way if this crashes we can always recover our work i've already downloaded those files from pexels so let's go ahead and load those up so i've got them downloaded here and i'm just going to select all of them and I'm I'm not going to select the music over here and I'll show you how to get the music in a little bit and I'll just drag all of these to our project bin. It's going to take a second to process through because some of these clips are not in 1080p 24 frames per second as our project. It's going to ask you to switch. So in this case because we already set our project to 1080p 24 fps I'm going to press cancel. Okay so we've got our clips loaded up here and we'll just kind of click through here and we're going to build out a very basic story basically what we're going to do is uh we've got a boat we've got a couple people that are diving they're going to go swimming and they're going to see all these animals underwater so we may not use all of these clips now before we actually start adding all these clips into our timeline here and start cutting and doing all the manipulations here, I learned this through experience that sometimes it's actually easier to do most of our rough editing and rough clip selection here in the project bin and using our clip monitor. So let's uh, set up our first scene which is going to be the boat and I'm just gonna scrub through this a little bit and we can see that this boat is just traveling through it zooms out a little bit and then zooms back in as it goes towards the shore so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick maybe from here at about four seconds to here so how we do that is we can set an endpoint. so this is the set 
zone in so that will set our zone in and let's say we drag this across a little bit till about there and we can set a zone out now this is the zone that we have selected out of this entire clip so what happens now is when i drag this down into my timeline only that zone is selected and not the entire clip so you'll see this is going to become like more and more useful as we go along so this is sort of our first scene over here the next scene i want to do is something to do with this couple here so we'll just scrub through a little bit and this couple is diving there's a bit of a dissolve and you see them swimming and then they're holding hands and lastly they're pointing at stuff so i'd like to split this into three different sections so from here and we're going to cut this right here so i'm just using the keyboard arrow keys to kind of find that frame so here we go so from here so i want from the beginning up until the end and what i can do is since the needle is over here i'll just press zone out and instead of putting this in my timeline here i've got multiple sections that i want to preserve what i'll do is i will use something like this insert zone in project bin or control i so let's just click that and you'll notice there's a arrow that appeared here and if we drop down we'll see our first zone if we look at that this is going to be our first zone and if we go back to the original clip let's continue on so let's set the second scene so starting here so set zone in or if you like keyboard shortcuts that's i the letter i in and then we'll drag this along there we go so there's a frame change so i would say this is the last frame i'll press o for set zone out so there you go and i will do control i or otherwise if you like to press things you can use this one insert zone in project bin so control i and you can see here we've got zone two so if we click through zone one it's only going to be this particular zone here as you can see highlighted so if we drag this into our timeline only that section is going to get dragged in and zone two same thing so from there till there and then finally we'll go back up here using the arrow keys pressing letter i zone in then we're going to go to the end so i'm using the alt plus arrow key to jump to the end and press o zone out control i so that sets our zone three so now we've divvied up this clip here above into three different clips so that's going to be useful later on let's go back to our timeline over here and we're going to start the opening scene with this boat. I want to make this video very short, so we're going to do very quick cuts, okay? So we're going to be doing only about four, three to four seconds about each scene. So at one, two, three, four, thereabouts. Now, what I can do now is I can cut this part because this is too long. So I can use this razor tool here or the letter X. I can go to where we've got our needle and then click and that will cut our clip. We can switch back to the selection tool. Otherwise, if you keep it on the razor tool, it'll keep cutting whatever you press. And we're going to do away with this clip over here. So we'll press, we'll select it. See it's highlighted in orange and press delete. The next scene I want to show. So this is going to be a quick cut. We'll show the people diving in. So this couple, when I drag down, you see here, I'm going to do that again. So when I drag down zone one, because we've already set it, We'll drag that down there. We'll move this back to the beginning. Then we'll press play or our space bar. So you can see our project monitor over there. So that's the scene that we've got so far. So, so far so good. Looks nice. So let's look for another scene here. I think this one looks nice. Let's press play on this one. Now I've selected this. So this is in my clip monitor. When I press this space bar, it's going to play. So let's kind of go. Yeah. So like from here, I'm going to press I right and we'll do about four seconds so just one two three thereabouts press o out so we don't we're only selecting one scene so we don't need to do the control i so this one we can just like the very first one just drag this down and then you'll notice by the way i'll zoom in here our timeline 
I'm pressing the control key and using the mouse wheel to zoom in. You'll notice that there's these green boxes here in the bottom. And basically what that is, is that's the container for your audio. But in this case, we don't see a waveform. So that means that the video is silent. So there is like a sound component to the video when this was made. Unfortunately, it's all blank. This is just a silent video. So this one seems to see to be purely just a video here. So there's no green box. So that's what that is. Don't worry, we'll have some sound in some of our other videos and I'll show you how to deal with the sound in a little bit. So I'm just going to show you how to navigate quickly between the clips here. I'm holding down the Alt key and then pressing the arrow keys. So press down the arrow keys, you can move towards the different sections of your clips left and right. So that's a good way to kind of jump backwards and forwards. So I'm just moved it our needle here to the very end. And let's look for a different scene. So let's see what the zone two is. So zone two is basically them swimming. Actually, I think I want zone three. So I want them pointing. So we'll drag down zone three over here. So they're going to point to stuff. And they're going to be pointing to somebody's little fish. Now this one here, this clip here has some sound. So you can see there's a waveform here. Now if you're not able to see that waveform, so just go over here, click on this hamburger menu, show audio thumbnails. So if I click that, see the audio thumbnails disappear. I like to always show so that I can see. The other thing is if you're doing scrubbing and you're getting annoyed with a lot of the audio scrubbing, so you can turn this off. So when I scrub, it's silent. If I turn this back on, I'm going to hear the bubbles over here. Yeah, I hope you can hear that. All right, so they're looking at some of this fish. So let's just find a good spot. So maybe he goes in and out in here. He's going to dive in, out. All right, cool. So the fish has done some acting for us. So I've set the zone out and I'm dragging that zone in here. Okay, we've got some other footage here of some clownfish. I think that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are clownfish. I reckon somewhere here in. Okay, spacebar, press play. All right, I think that's cool. Get him swim a little bit for us. Now we're going to show these divers. Oh, we've already done zone three. So zone two is just them swimming along like that. We'll just put them here. All right, I think I want to put this inside here somewhere. So I've changed my mind. So we've already added this couple here swimming, but then we want to insert something in the middle. Well, I guess, you know, if you're a beginner, you would just move this, drag this in and move it back. But I'm going to show you a technique that we could use. So we're going to put this uh, snail somewhere in the middle. So let's just take a section here. So let's do in, out. So there we go. So what we can do here now, we've set the in and the out is we can insert this into where our needle is. So if you go to your timeline toolbar here, there is this icon here. It says insert clip in zone. Keyboard shortcut is letter V. So let's insert this. So as you can see, it inserted in between the clownfish and the divers. So, and it moved it automatically. All right, we're gonna finish our video here pretty soon. Let's get some shot of these turtles. So let's see what this turtle is doing. Okay, I like that. So just a little bit of action from the turtle. Again, these are just really random in and out points that I'm doing. You can refine these as you go, but just for the sake of demonstration, that's what we're doing. So there we go. By the way, just want to show you this. So we set in and out point, and let's say you don't want to keep dragging and dropping. You want to make your work a little bit quicker. So the same thing, since our timeline needle is over here, we can actually insert it to where the timeline needle is or press V. Since our timeline needle is at the very end, it inserts it right there. So that's again, a way for you to, you know, do things very, very quickly. So as you build up the muscle memory and the skill set, Caden Live can make your workflow really, really fast. And then maybe we'll end with this turtle swimming about here, set the in zone, flap once, there we go, out. And we'll drag this here. I forgot my own advice. I should have just pressed V, but there we go. And then lastly, I want to go back to the boat here. And this boat, you can kind of see it speeding away. So let's set this uh, in zone here. And then as it sort of zooms out, 
yeah out spacebar to stop and then i'll move this to the very end alt arrow key right click back here and v to insert that video so that section is a bit long so we've got the uh, basic timeline that we've got here so we've got some things that have sound and others that don't that's cool don't despair so control s to save our work now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean this up a little bit so we're gonna discard all of the sound in this case so i'll click this and right click and you can see ungroup clips control shift g so once you ungroup that, it'll ungroup, it'll detach the audio. So now I can delete this audio without touching the clip. So the same thing here, right click, ungroup, and then we'll delete the audio. So we'll do the same thing, Control shift g for everything, just so that we've got clean, no sound video. The next thing that I have to do is I'd like to pick some music for this video. The best place for you to actually pick some music is through YouTube. So I've gone into YouTube here. I'm going to go into the YouTube studio. So if you've got a, if you've got a YouTube channel, you have access to this. Uh, you can go to the audio library and you've got an access to pretty much a lot of royalty free music so that your video doesn't get taken down or get a copyright strike or whatever. And you can sort this by genre or by mood. So by mood, you can look for bright, calm, uh, happy music, press apply and it'll sort through that. For the sake of this example, let's just try to type uh, underwater and see what we can find. So you can go through some of these, right? And find one that um, is suited to the story that you're trying to tell. Now I've already downloaded something. So let's just double check what that was. So that was dolphin-esque. So let's bring that in. So again, you just download it. It's for free. You don't have to do any sort of uh, attribution or anything. So that's cool. So we've got the file here that I've downloaded and I'm just going to drag that into my project bin. Here it is. And you can see there's no picture. There's no video. It's only all audio. So you just see the waveform. Now let's drag this into our A1 track. And if you've got any troubles with the tracks, you can always add more tracks, right? So if you're trying to add something and it doesn't fit, what you can do is you can add. So if you want to add a video track, you can do right click here, insert track, like let's do an AV track. So that's audio and video. So we're just going to insert one track. You can insert two tracks. So let's just insert one, press OK. We don't have to write a track name. So there you go. So it inserted a V3 track and an A3 track. So in a similar way, so if we want to delete this, so let's delete the track so we want to delete a3 and v3 to simplify our project press ok you can have as many tracks as you like but for me i like to keep it simple so i just want to have like maybe three tracks maximum three av track pairs so let's press play and see how this music goes i think that sets a good mood. I'm not going to touch the volume here. So I think the volume is pretty good for the music. So we're going to leave it as is. I'm just going to mute this for now because as we scrub along, it's uh, going to be really annoying. All right. So let's go through here and we're going to add some simple transitions. So let's say from there, we want to add a soft dissolve transition. The easiest way to do that in Caden Live, I'm just going to zoom in here, control plus the mouse wheel, is we can overlay this transition track above. So I want to do a dissolve transition from here to here, not that rough cut. So let's just do that. So we'll move this a little bit so that it's overlaid. And when you mouse over here, no, it's a bit hard to see with my um, highlighted cursor, there's a purple dot that shows up. So if you click on that dot, it'll add a wipe. We go to the composition stack here. So the wipe method here, we can change it to different things. But for now, let's let's check it out what it looks like with just the standard dissolve. So we'll move this back here, press play. Oh, it's a little bit too quick. So what we need to do now is we need to extend our track a little bit and that's going to be super easy. So you just hover over here and you see these arrows so we can extend this out. 
And obviously this is only a section of our full clip. So that's why we can extend this out the same way here. We can extend this out. But if this is the whole length of your clip and uh, you're trying to extend it out, if that's a full clip, it, it can't go any further. So just be mindful. So now our wipe, we can extend this now so that it'll be more of a gradual transition. So the longer your wipe is, the more gradual the transition is. So let's press play. So, so there we go. If we keep this wipe like shorter, that transition is going to be a lot quicker. See? So if we want to extend it, so we can extend it a lot longer just for demonstration. I'm going to make this quite long here. So that's going to be a slower transition like that. And similarly, if we want to do a transition over here, we can do that. Click here. We've got another wipe. Uh, we can extend this if we want to make it a little bit more softer, a little bit smoother. Just press play. So there we go. So that's one way that you can add like simple transitions and you can try different wipe methods here. So let's just do something a little bit interesting. Barn V up. Let's see what that looks like. Press play. Yeah, you can do some interesting things here. Checkerboard. So let's just so now you've done some of your basic effects in Caden Live. But for the sake of elegance, I like things to be elegant. I just like a simple dissolve. But you can play with whatever transition that you like. If you have some multiple tracks and you're having trouble with some of the transitions, you can change the composition track here. Right now it's on automatic. We can change it to V1. So meaning it's going to force it to compose over video track number one. So same over here. So it's on automatic. We can explicitly say V1. So as you add more tracks, you can explicitly declare if it's supposed to compose over V2, V1, V3, etc. So we've got the boat going away over here. What I'm going to do is we'll cut right here and press S to delete this part. I'm going to keep a little bit of the music. So I'll move a little bit here, press X and I'll cut the music here and I'll delete that. Now what I want is a fade out. So I'll hover up here. You see this red dot? You click on that. We've got our fade out. So it's going to fade out to black. And that's what we want. Now, if we want to make some adjustments to our fade out, we can drag this handle over here and make the fade out shorter. So that's going to be a shorter fade out. We can drag this to make it longer. So it'll fade out a lot slower. That's one way to change it. The other way to change it is also to click on the clip and in your effect and composition stack, you can see the duration handle over here. So we can drag this down to make it shorter drag it to make it a bit longer. So I'll keep it like right about here. And the same is true with your audio. So you could do an audio fade out as well. So similar to how you did in your video, top right here, you see the red dot, click on it. So you've got the fade out effect. So you can do the same thing. So we'll fade this out like so. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's save, zoom out. So what we're gonna do next is let's add some sound effects. So we've got some uh, sound effects actually here in our video. So let's press play on this and have a listen. And audio is one of those things that is severely underrated in videos. And I think it adds so much. All right, so let's add some of this audio. So let's bring this guy in. Actually, we'll, we'll bring the, the whole clip in. So I'm going to reset the in and out points here. I'm going to press in and then I'll go to the very end out. So I want the whole clip. I'm going to drag this down here. And as you can see, it's the whole clip. Control Shift G to ungroup. And I'm going to delete the video part. So now we just want this oxygen breathing. So we're going to start right about here is when they go swimming. Let's zoom in. Yeah, right about here is when they start swimming. So we'll do a little bit of a fade in. So we'll fade that video in. So let's just have a listen out of curiosity. Let's go back to the beginning. Press play.
That's kind of cool, yeah? Even though it came from a totally different clip. Let's add this guy in as well. So let's put this in and move to the very end. Out. And we'll zoom out here. We'll drag this in. Control Shift G and get rid of this. And I think we have enough uh, background sound for our um, scuba noises. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this around because I think it'll be better to have some of the scuba start a bit sooner. And let's get rid of this fade in. So clicking on the clip here, see the trash can here? Get That gets rid of the fade in. So we'll add our fade in over here. Let's double check the duration. Let's just move this, I think right right about here so we'll fade that in bring this in it's fine i think i might cut the audio here a little bit so press x i'm gonna cut down here s and i'm pressing delete get rid of that and let's move this and let's cut this uh we're gonna finish our diving about here delete that and let's do a fade out I am super happy with that. Normally, we can make some adjustments in our sound, but right now the volume of this A2 track is pretty good. But just for demonstration, how we can adjust the sound is, let's go to the effects here, and I will type in volume. So you see volume here, it's keyframeable. You can drag this into the soundtrack where you want. And you can see the gain here. So you can make it gain like five decibels to make it louder. So that I see the bar goes up. So it will make the whole track actually gain five decibels. So this is actually keyframeable, meaning we can make the volume go up and down as we desire. We'll save that for a different lesson. We'll talk about keyframes. But for now, we don't need to add a gain or reduce the volume. But this is pretty much how you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just delete this and leave it as is. So our video is almost done, guys. We've just got... One more thing that we need to talk about, and that is how to add a title. So the best place to add the title is at the very top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a track. So insert track. In this case, I just want one track, a video track. I can give it a name. So let's just give it a name, titles, press okay. So there we go, titles. And go back to our project bin. And this is pretty much where we would add our title. So let's add a very, very simple title. So we'll go to add clip or folder. Click on that arrow drop down. You can see here, add title clip. Click on that and we're presented with this box. So pretty much this box here represents the size of our project screen. Don't get intimidated. Oh, what the hell is this box? Don't worry. So we can add text we can add a rectangle we can add circle we can even add images like an image file png file transparent file so in this case let's just add a text let's click on here you can see that their text a day diving and we can have options to change the font over here the fonts are going to depend on what fonts are installed in your system let's just keep it at uh, noto sans and we can increase the size over here. So you can see I'm just increasing it here to 150. I think that's great. Now we've got some alignment tools here. So since this is gonna be the main title, we'll align it horizontally in the middle and we're also gonna align it vertically in the middle. So that should be bang in the middle of your screen. We can even do a typewriter effect. Let's try a typewriter effect, but there's some other places here where you could adjust your fonts, bold, uh, you can do a shadow. Let's add a shadow alignment, letter spacing. Let's uh, give a little bit of letter spacing. All right, and let's realign this back in the middle. And I think I'm happy with that. Create the title. So here's our title, right? And if we play this, we get that typewriter effect. So let's go ahead and add this one here. Let's press play here. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, so I like it, except that uh, I don't think I like it in the middle because it's covering up in the first scene here, our boat. So let's uh, click on this, right click, edit clip. And what we can do is click this and I'm just gonna move this down a bit. So just using the arrow keys here, just about right here. Click on update title. So there you go. So that's moved down. 
a lot of this is going to be a bit of trial and error, which is okay. Now, the same thing with titles, you can actually also do a fade out for the titles. So let's do a fade out here. We'll make it a little bit longer just to get that nice calming feeling. I think we're done. I think this looks very, very good for a first time video edit. Let's go ahead and export this. So we'll go to project render. Now exporting is always very, very tricky because this is kind of where things get messed up depending on your settings and depending on your computer. Unfortunately, Caden Live is not really great at doing GPU accelerated exporting, meaning using your GPU to export. So it will rely on your CPU. And if you have a slow CPU, you're going to have to be patient, which is okay, by the way. And I've done some testing. We can talk about this later. CPU rendering for me personally, it looks a little bit cleaner, which is nicer. That's something that we're going to go through together. But for the generic settings here, we're going to go for generic or web. So this is something that we want. We want to export specifically for YouTube. If you want the highest compatibility, I've got some custom options here. So please disregard these stars, the one with the stars, if you don't have them. MP4 H.264 is probably the most common one. So we'll click on that. And if you don't see this bar on the right, you can click on more options over here. We want to export the full project. We want to click the video. We want to make sure that the audio is exported. Most of the standard settings here are actually pretty good. Although I would change the custom quality here. I'm going to change this. I'm just going to bump this up to 80% and just because you're going to get a much better quality. You can leave the encoder speed as is, the threads as auto. You might have to experiment here to find the settings that are the fastest for you and also give you the best quality with the most efficient file size. And lastly, we want to see where the output is going. We're just going to name it sample.mp4. Let's render this to file. Now this might take a while, so I'm going to take a break. We'll fast forward and I'll see you guys when this is done. Okay, so we've got it done over here. Let's close this out. Let's find that file that we've got. I'm just going to open a new window here. It should be in my videos. There it is, sample. So this is ready to go. In a second here, I'm going to play this, but I just want to take this time. Thank you guys for staying with me, hanging in there with me. I think this was a long tutorial, but I think you're going to find a lot of value here. And I think this is going to really uh, get you started with a lot of the video projects that you've really been putting off for a while now. If you haven't already, click a like and subscribe. And stay tuned. We'll watch the video here in a second. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.